Hello and welcome. Today I am going to provide you a solution of most common and stressful problem. Let's assume your top management requested you to provide cash flow forecast based on the updated schedule and it is required to be sent to CEO right now. Now you are under pressure. You open up your updated schedule to extract the data in order to prepare cash flow forecast. And you find out a problem as you can see that the earned value cost is not same as actual total cost. Which means that the remaining total cost plus earned value do not form budget at completion value. You have two options to solve the problem. Option number one. You go to each activity one by one and adjust actual total cost and the remaining total cost. Let me show you how. Click on the, on the activity, under the activity details, under the resources, you have actual regular units. So we need to match it same as earned value cost. So let's type here 5000. So if you see here you have got 5000. Now you need to calculate and adjust the remaining units. So 25,000 minus 5,000, 20,000. Enter. Now earned value cost and actual total cost is same and the remaining total cost plus earned value is forming budget at completion. So the question is, do you think you can go with this option and spend a day or more on this task only. No, you are told by your top management that this task is very urgent. Now let me tell you about option number two. This option is very quick. Even if you have thousands of activities in the schedule, it works very quickly. Let us go to file, export, Click on spreadsheet, next, select activities and select resource assignment, next, select export, next, modify resource template. Under resource, we have activities and resource assignment. So let's see in under the activities which column fields we need it. So we need activity ID, activity status, WBS code, WBS name, activity name, start, finish, earned value cost. Most important here is earned value cost. Let's see what we need in resource assignment. Activity ID, activity status, resource ID, role ID, cost account ID, activity name, resource type, this is important, budgeted unit, actual units, remaining units at completion units. So actually from resource type onwards these are very important field for us in order to import and export. So click OK, click next, save the file. So this is our exported file. We have activities which is task sheet, we have resource assignment which, which is task RSRC sheet, we will just extend little bit. We are going to work in this sheet, we need to update actual units and the remaining units with the earned value against each activity. So we are going to remove all the rows which are related to labors because our exercise is all about non-labor units which is called cost. So simply we will apply we look up formula, we look up, select the first activity id, comma, go to task, select the range, comma, column 8, freeze, cell A3, comma 0, enter, simply drag the formula, 
So if you see actual units, here is 15,200 and actually our earned value is 9,000. So we are going to take earned value and replace to actual units. Now we are going to calculate what would be remaining units. So budget minus actual units, enter drag formula, copy and simply paste values. Most probably your add completion unit would be same as budget unit but you need to double check. So if you see all the units are same as budget units. So we are ready to import. Let us save the file, close it, go to Primavera, file, import. So before import, if you remember, we have earned value 56,300 and we have actual total cost 66,400. Click spreadsheet, next, select the file which we need to import, we will go to desktop, have resource assignment sample, select, open, next, resource assignment. So we are not uh, going to select activities from here. Only we will select resource assignment because we need to update the units only. Next, it is showing file name, ok, update existing project, yes we are going to update the resource assignment, import to, we have only one project showing here, double click, ok, next, finish. close. It means that we have successfully imported. So if you see earned value is 56,300 as it was but now actual total cost is changed and it is same as earned value cost and we have remaining total cost according to earned value which is forming budget at completion. We are very close to finish our exercise. I am going to tell you how to extract the data and plot S curve which would show our project forecast. We need to go to activity usage spreadsheet, click, right click and you have option time scale and spreadsheet. So let me tell you about spreadsheet fields. We have interval values and cumulative values. We have taken earned value cost, cumulative earned value cost, actual total cost, cumulative actual total cost, remaining total cost and cumulative remaining total cost. We know earned value cost and actual total cost are same so we don't need to take actual total cost. So we will double click and remove from the field or you can click cumulative actual total cost and press remove from list. Click OK. We will collapse all. We will press Ctrl C or you can left click and click copy. Go to Excel sheet, Ctrl V or paste here, remove unnecessary column. We are going to plot S curve but before we create S curve, we need to calculate here for the forecast value. So, we will change remaining to forecast total cost and cumulative forecast total cost. So, because our updated 
program uh, data date was 14th May so forecast will start from 15th May so the interval forecast total cost will remain same as our remaining total cost because it this is the cost for per day so we'll simply copy and paste below cumulative will change so interval for 15 plus cumulative earned value cost so that will become our cumulative forecast total cost on 15th may and then we will apply another formula cumulative plus interval and we will just copy paste value to the end if you see this is this is showing our final value or as a budgeted completion value so if you see 160,000 here if you compare with our program it is 160,000 it means our exercise is correct okay let's plot a chart quickly select all the fields go to insert select clustered column chart okay so in this video we are not going in detail about plotting a chart or s curve but our exercise was all about to to make actual cost as earned value so i'm just going to show you quickly how our forecast curve will look like okay so this blue line is showing earned value and from 15th may it is showing the forecast that's all for today i hope you enjoyed my video Please give me your feedback in the comment box. Subscribe my channel for all the upcoming videos. Thank you.